Hey everyone, my name is Nick Mearson and I'm the Chief Information Security Officer here at Audoc. And I wanted to walk you through a, a quick scenario that uh, I'm sure some of you might also have in your companies. So as a CISO, I'm responsible for making sure that we have a, a reasonable view of the risk in our application portfolio. Now, as a company, we've adopted a, a culture where our departments and teams are free to select the tools that they feel are best suited for, for their type of work. So we've got a set of highly autonomous teams and a pretty distributed uh, application portfolio. So herein lies the challenge for me as a CISO. I want to make sure I get that risk view without becoming a bottleneck, for example, as part of application purchasing processes. Now, the nice thing is that we have the, the basic building blocks already in place in Ardoc. Um, we have our, our people, so for example, Kieran here. We have our departments, Asia Finance, and then we have our applications. And these components are actually linked together. So I know that Kieran uh, is the head of Asia Finance or owns Asia Finance. And then Asia Finance as a department, they own these applications. And then on the applications, I'd like to basically just collect a little bit of information. So I'd like to know, uh, you know what kind of authentication method is used to access the application. Is it username and password or is it uh, multi-factor authentication or something else? I'd also like to know how confidential the information is. Is it public information or is it uh, you know, super sensitive internal information only? And then I'd also like to know when was the last time the application owner had uh, had the chance to sit down and just check who actually has access to the application and goes through the list of users. So how do I make sure that this information is up to date? Well, I've, uh, I can create a survey. Uh, so in this case, we've got a survey uh, that's going to update applications. Uh, in this case, we, we're going to filter down to the applications where uh, the access view date was either uh, not set, so it's empty, or the last time the access view was done was, uh, was a while ago. So it's probably a good idea to, to get uh, up-to-date information now. And then the actual survey is just going to ask for that, uh, that same information uh, that I've spoken about uh, a minute ago, uh, you know, what's the authentication type? What kind of confidentiality are we dealing with? And when was the last time the access view was performed? Uh, and these surveys are just going to update the fields on the application components. So how do I get these surveys out to the right people? Well, I'm going to use a broadcast. So in this case, we've got a broadcast set up that's going to use that same survey. And I've uh, used a little bit of Gremlin to uh, do a little bit of traversal of the graph so that I know uh, which applications uh, belong to which departments uh, and who is head of those departments. So in this case, Kieran is going to get asked to update these three applications um, because those applications are owned by Asia Finance and Kieran is in charge of Asia Finance. So once I save and uh, launch this broadcast, uh, Kieran is going to get an email and uh, he's going to show you what happens next. In our doc, we have the ability to choose applications which fits our purpose and help us be more efficient. As a unit, we receive periodic requests for input from our InfoSec team to update key parameters for our applications. This enables the InfoSec team to keep track of the information security risks and inform us about any risks that they identify which we tackle together. I have now received an email requesting me for input on some of the applications that have not been updated for a periodic time. I click on one of the links and I'm taken to the input form for a survey where I review the data that I have provided. So the authentication method has not changed, the classification of the data has not changed, and I've done a review of who has access of the application uh, today. I submit the data and I see that the data is directly updated um, in the system. I also recognize my unit, which I can click through, and I, this gives me a complete overview of my department where more applications which require my action and, and are highlighted. I can click on them, review the data that has changed, provide an update, and see that all applications in my portfolio are now green. Collaborating with the InfoSec team helps me gain confidence that our data and more importantly, our customers' data remain safe.